introduce our first assistant chief, Craig Johnson. He's going to give the uh, fire train report and uh, fire alarms, and then he'll introduce the auxiliary for their presentation.
Ann Miller. Step back up here, we have plaques for you as well. John?
Some of the departments just started doing this year is recognizing, we just like a lot of these guys that have been in the department for years. And I'll start as we go down the list. Rick's got 33 years. Ken Davis, 52 years. Jerry Biskin, 52 years. Dale Earhart, 32. Dave Jr., 36. Senior, 42. Uncle Bill, 40. Mike Shefflin, which isn't here, 34. Jim Spear, Senior, 54. Paul Tresco, 40. That's over 400 years in this department these days wow. that have dedicated their life to. <laughs>
banquet. First of all, we want to call up the uh, mayor, if he could come up, please. Mr. Mayor, we brought you a present for just in case. You have another fire at your house. <laughs> Chris D. Felice. 
Come on up here and grab your uh, citations, and we've got a, a gift for you. Uh, Joe Orlando. <laughs> These are the top ten, top ten of the responders for the year 2018. And <laughs> uh, been in the for some no, no more years. Uh, always willing to help us on uh, extra details like parades and uh, you know setting up stuff at, at the station when we need to. He pretty much just does anything we ask, especially when our cable goes down. <laughs> he always fixes our cable, always gives us extra remotes. <laughs> it used to be phones. Oh, it used to be phones also. So uh, for 2018, it's Brandon Connolly. Yeah! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Brandon will give you more pictures afterwards. Also. Okay. <laughs> Let's say it again. 2018 Fireman of the Year, Brandon Kahn. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank Danielle and her staff for an excellent meal and excellent job serving us here at Terry Hill tonight. Uh, Tommy B has a photo booth set up for your pleasure tonight. And I believe we are done. Enjoy the night. Thank you for all coming. Oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. Dave, our benediction, please. Dave, you can plan on next year too now. <laughs> <laughs> said to myself, everything I want to say here is on the back of this. So if you don't mind, if you'd like to listen to it, in the still of the night, when we're all asleep, a demon called fire starts to creep. It may be a car, a home, or a barn. Someone has heard and put out the alarm. Day or night, sunshine or snow, your firefighter is always ready to go. When the call come in, he or she does not inquire just how serious is the fire. They get on their clothes, take off in their car to help you in your, yours wherever you are. They do not question the location it's in, the place, or the creed, or the color of skin. Extensive training and procedure to learn, for your safety is their biggest concern. He chances his very life for you, that on each fire, no one may die. For all of this, he receives not a set. Time, effort, and money he spent. That all he asks is your help and love, and perhaps a bit of guidance from above. Pretty good words. I'd like to point out the second last line, or the third last line. Time, effort, and money he spent. Guys, girls go through a lot of effort and training. A lot of time away from home. And thankfully their families appreciate what they all do. But no one realizes the money they spend it's really surprising. And nobody that belongs to the fire service really asks for a thanks. They do it out of the goodness of their heart and soul. So as we prepare to leave here, let us remember that God, our Father above, is looking down on each and every one of us. I pray, I hope that you pray, that he continues to spread his graces and continue his protection upon us for the coming year. Amen. <laughs>